In this video, I'll be solving January 2020, paper 2, question 5. A group of 100 students estimated the mass m grams of a seed. The cumulative frequency curve below shows the results. Part A. Using the cumulative frequency curve, estimate, part 1, the median for one mark. Now, the median mass corresponds to half of the total frequency. So, I could write here, a half n, and n here is the total frequency, which is 100, so half of 100 is equal to 50 students. Now, I'm going to go to the cumulative frequency curve here, and we will use here graphical interpolation. So we go here to 50 students on the y-axis, move across the cumulative frequency curve, and read off here the corresponding value on the x-axis. So the median mass here is 3.2 grams. So I could write here Q2, which is the symbol for median, is equal to 3.2 grams. Part 2. Estimate the upper quartile for one mark. Now the upper quartile mass corresponds to three quarter of the total frequency. So I'll write here three quarter n. This is equal to three quarter multiplied by the total frequency of 100, which is equal to 75 students. Now I will go to the cumulative frequency curve and use graphical interpolation to find the upper quartile mass. So at 75 students on the y-axis, we go across here to the cumulative frequency curve and we draw a line straight down to the x-axis and find the corresponding mass. So the upper quartile mass Q3 here is 4.3 grams. So Q3 is equal to 4.3 grams. Part 3. Estimate the semi-interquartile range for two marks. Now the semi-interquartile range SIQR is equal to Q3 minus Q1 all over 2, where Q1 is the mass that corresponds to a quarter of the total frequency. Now I have here Q3 already, so I just need to find Q1. So I could write here that a quarter N is equal to a quarter of 100, which is equal to 25 students. Now, I will use the cumulative frequency curve to estimate Q1 using graphical interpolation. So on the y-axis here, I locate 25, and I move across the cumulative frequency curve and move down here to the x-axis, and I'm getting here a value of 2.3 grams. So I could write here that Q1 is equal to 2.3 grams. So now I could calculate here the semi-interquartile range. So SIQR is equal to Q3 minus Q1 all over 2, which is equal to 4.3 minus 2.3 all over 2. This is equal to 2 over 2, which is equal to 1. So therefore, the semi-interquartile Range is equal to 1 gram. Part 4. The number of students whose estimate is 2.8 grams or less for one mark. So I'll go to the cumulative frequency curve here and locate 2.8 grams on the x-axis and use graphical interpolation to find the corresponding cumulative frequency. So we go up here to the cumulative frequency curve and go across here to the y-axis to find the corresponding y-value, which is 38 students. So the number of students whose estimate is 2.8 grams or less is 38 students. Part B1. Use the cumulative frequency curve given to complete the frequency table below for two marks. So I will use the cumulative frequency curve to determine the number of students that estimated a mass of no more than 4 grams 
and no more than six grams. So for no more than four grams, I will go to the graph of the cumulative frequency curve, locate four grams on the x-axis, draw a straight line up to the cumulative frequency curve, then straight over to the y-axis, and I'm getting here a cumulative frequency of 70 students. So this will be here 70 minus the previous cumulative frequency, which is 20, and I'm getting 50 students for this class interval. Next, for no more than 6 grams, I'm going to repeat the procedure here. So, on the x-axis of the graph of the cumulative frequency curve, we locate 6 grams, we draw a straight line up to the cumulative frequency curve, then straight across to the y-axis, I'm getting a cumulative frequency of 93 students. So this will be 93 minus the previous cumulative frequency, which is 70, and I'm getting here 23. Notice here that when I sum the frequencies, I'm getting n, which is equal to 100. Part 2. A student is chosen at random. Find the probability that the student estimated the mass to be greater than 6 grams to 2 marks. So from the frequency table here, the number of students who estimated a mass of more than 6 grams is 6 plus 1, which is 7 students. So the probability of the mass being greater than 6 grams is equal to 7 divided by the total number of students. So the probability is 7 over 100. 